Hi, Jerry Neiser here for Real Green Pest and Lawn Care. Let's talk for a minute about take-all patch. Take-all patch is becoming more and more a problem in Central Texas as we rely more and more on our city water to irrigate our lawns and landscapes. You know, as the temperature goes up and the rainfall seems to be a little bit less every year, we have to irrigate more, subsidize that rainfall. Problem is, is that that, that water that we're subsidizing with from our groundwater, our lakes and rivers, it's full of lime from the limestone that's found naturally in those same areas. That lime causes the pH to rise. On the opposite side of that, of course, is rainfall. Rainfall, you've heard of acid rain, is real acidic in nature. The two together normally keep the pH at a rel relatively medium uh, level at about seven. Problem is, is when we have uh, a dry year, we have to subsidize that rainfall and that causes the pH to rise. What that plays into with uh, take-all patch is that take-all patch can't survive at a pH below 6.7. With me? So, when we have a lot of rainfall, what happens? The pH falls. When we subsidize irrigation, the pH rises. The uh, take-all patch thrives in a higher pH and you'll see it spread. Both, like most diseases, whether you're talking take-all patch or brown patch or, or gray leaf spot, they can be spread by foot traffic, mowers, whatever. So, you know, when you get it in a small area, it's going to tend to spread. If you use a mowing service, the likelihood that you're going to get it's even greater because who knows where the mower was on that day that he happens to service your lawn. He could have been, you know, how many other lawns? Ten before he came to you. So it's unlikely they'll sterilize their equipment, so they're going to bring it in. So it's something that we have to deal with. Diagnosing take-all patch really isn't that hard. Take-all patch, um, like the name says, it tends to remove the grass, so you end up with a bare spot. It takes everything. You, all, you, all you're left with is just dirt. Generally, you'll find it in the shadier areas of the lawn, just like most disease problems. Hardly ever will you find this disease in uh, full sun. What take-all patch looks like is it uh, causes a rotting of the stolen itself, the, the actual runner of the grass. If you look at that runner, you'll see that it browns or almost blackens lengthwise down the stolen. If you start to pull the stolen up from, you know, from, the, uh, from the dirt or from the soil, you'll see that the roots themselves are stunted, shortened, and they're discolored as well. They'll be brown to black. Normally the roots will be a creamy white color, almost a, a, a tan. That's what a healthy root looks like. And when you try and pull it up, it's actually a little bit difficult. With take-all patch, you try and start pulling it up, those roots release and they tear and it comes up quite easily. When diagnosing a problem, it's always most effective to start at the edge of the problem, where the problem exists, whatever it is, to healthy grass. So you're going to be at the edge of the of the uh, solid soil area. In this area, you can see that there are several problems going on. Let's try and find out what all they are. What you would want to do is go to the edges and try and pull up some turf grass. And just so you can see it, I'm going to put this piece of paper down. And you can see the roots themselves as we start up here on this stolen, you can see it's green and healthy, but notice the roots. They're blackened all the way down until you end up with no roots whatsoever. And notice the stolen. So you're going from a semi-healthy stolen up here down this direction and you can see the blackening on the stolen here. That's typical of take-all patch. Let's pull some more up and take a closer look. Here's a couple more. You can see there's there very little roots whatsoever on this grass. The, and again the roots that you see are not very healthy. A healthy piece of St. Augustine, let me see if I can pull some up from over here, give you something to go by. Ah, here we go. You can see it's the, the green is, is much greener, the roots are much longer. So it, this, this is typical take-all patch. Take-all patch can be a little bit difficult to treat in that uh, most fungicides don't work on it. A lot of fungicides are sold for treatment of take-all patch, but that doesn't mean that they work. One of the more common treatments that actually works quite well is using peat moss. 
peat moss or sphagnum moss, either one has a very, very low pH, a pH of around two or three. And the way that you do that is you actually spread the peat moss over the affected area. Doesn't take much. It you know, when you buy peat moss, it comes in a bale. Basically, you can figure a bale will treat around 500 to 700 square feet. And what you're trying not to do is cover the blades of any healthy grass. So you'll want to treat the infected area, but you also want to go over onto the unaffected area, probably by about 20%, assuming that it's trying to spread. And so that'll help it keep from spreading. The way peat moss does this, the way that treatment actually works, is that as it decomposes in the soil, it helps hold the pH down. Okay, it won't lower it down to two or anything like that, but it'll keep it, certainly keep it below that 6.7 that, uh, that's kind of the threshold for take-all patch. Sometimes two treatments are needed 30 days apart, but uh, in general, one will do it if you can count on uh, some rainfall coming back around in the fall. So, take-all patch to recap, it's a problem that happens in the, in the shade. You'll see it on the, on the runners themselves. The runners will be blackened or brown and the, the roots will be stunted. They will not be creamy as they normally are. They'll release very easily from the soil. Treatment is by um, peat moss. Peat moss is the best solution. So anyway, Jerry Neiser here for Real Green Pest and Lawn. Give us a call, 45 Green. If you have any problems at all, if you can't diagnose it, if you're in our service area, we'll come out, we'll take a look at it for you at no charge. RealGreenLawns.com.